electric power systems are changing. Today we have wind turbines, we have photovoltaic, and the energy stored in these generating sources is significantly less than the energy stored in a rotating mass associated with a conventional synchronous machine. So what this means is that as we introduce more and more renewables, solar and wind, the power system is becoming twitchier and twitchier. And one of the best things we can do to stay stable is to trip faster. We move energy at the speed of light. The fuel going to the power plant, be it in a pipeline or in a train or other means, is a mass transit of energy. And once it uh, gets into those power lines, it's going to wherever it's needed at the flick of the switch and at the speed of light. SCL is the leader in power system protection, control, and automation products and solutions. Our line relays are the fastest in the industry. Traveling wave technology can make these line relays faster. We are currently using this technology for fault location. The first fault locator that we developed in the SEL 21 was based on impedance measuring techniques. And by golly, it worked pretty darn well. When we start tripping faster and clearing faults faster, we need to have other methods of fault locating to locate faults faster. When we released the 411L, the accuracy was anywhere from 1 to 2%. So if you had a line that was, let's say, 200 miles long, that would be an accuracy of 2 to 4 miles. But that still wasn't good enough. So then we went and we implemented the traveling wave fault locator. That gave us accuracies to within a tower span, irrespective of how long the line was. This would now, if you all of a sudden saw, let's say, a flashover of an insulator, you would actually pick that up with a traveling wave fault locator and you could repair that insulator before it caused the outage of the line. I like to talk about the need for speed. And in this day and age, there's no reason to wait to clear a fault. Faster tripping is a tremendous opportunity from a point of view of voltage and angle stability, from a point of view of safety to reducing fire risk and reducing damage to all kinds of electrical equipment. I also see that we're going to be able to get a lot more out of the existing infrastructure today by tripping faster. Think about it. For every millisecond in clearing time saved, the transmission system stability limits would go up by 15 megawatts. Now 15 megawatts per millisecond is a lot. That's about one feeder per millisecond. So if we save 12 milliseconds, all of a sudden we're able to serve 12 more distribution feeders from one part of one transmission system. Then we took the next bold step, which was see if we can build a traveling wave relay. We are building the first commercial line relay using true traveling wave technology. SEL's time domain line protection relay uses traveling wave and incremental quantity based principles to achieve operating times in the order of 4 milliseconds. The principles are designed with emphasis on speed, security and simplicity. This is a breakthrough in line protection. We've designed the T400L to work in parallel with your 421s, 411Ls, and other line protection solutions so that you get the best of both worlds. The dependable performance of 30 plus years that have gone into the 411L, 421, and other of our relays, and at the same time by adding the T400L, you're picking up speed with no loss in security. It's a powerful addition to what we use to protect transmission lines today. So we feel the need for speed. We're the first ones delivering on that. And by doing so, we will make electric power system stability limits go up. We will reduce damage and improve safety. I believe all of this is in consonance with our purpose of making electric power safer, 
more reliable and more economical.